Hello and welcome to Anime 101 and the weirdest accent that I can't even explain why I'm doing right now. So your kids get into anime, watching things like Digimon, Pokemon, other things that are from Japan. You're not entirely sure if it's okay because, well, you only know if anime is being the stuff online with tentacles and rated R. And so you're kind of not sure what to do about your child being into these things. Well, you've come to the right place, and you have no worries. Well, few worries. Fewer worries. Is that like the American view of cartoons where it's something lighthearted and fun, child-friendly, you can sit your kids in front of it and clean the dishes or make dinner or something? Japanese feel a little differently about animation. Really, to them, it's just the same as any other storytelling device. Saying that all anime has tentacles is kind of like saying all movies star a little long-headed boy with a lightning star. Not only is it completely inaccurate, but they get a thing that gives you away from seeing what Japanese actually have to offer. Things that you should not be concerned about if you're down to actually watching anime. These shows that are actually uh, PG rated, like kid-friendly. Absolutely. Some of you might be thinking, Pokemon oh, movie anime? It looks just like any other cartoon. And to that I say yes. Yes, in fact, it is. There's a lot of them that we got from Japan that are passing themselves off as normal cartoons because, in fact, they are cartoons. Like, that's, 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 that's no, no, no reason why you can do no, that. There are some animes that you might not be okay with them watching. For example, on Netflix currently, there's Grim Daughters of Dynasty. This is clearly rated R and not because, well, sex and violence. And do you really need any other reason besides sex <laughs> to not show it to an eight-year-old? And it is on Netflix, like they can access it. And it's something you need to keep an eye on. Rosario Vampire has panty shots. You might not be okay with your five-year-old seeing that, along with a lot of others. If you haven't seen all of them, I can't warn you about every single one on Netflix, and I can't okay every single one on Netflix. But if you filter your search results by ratings, you can go through and avoid TVMA and NR, which is not rated, and you should be okay for the most part. Now, most animes aren't on Netflix. You'll have to find them through the internet. Trust me, parents, your kids not only know how to find anything they could possibly want on the internet, they also know about five ways around all of your parental control blocks. Best defense is good parenting skills. And should anything come up while you're watching an anime with your child, don't blame me. And a lot of anime is made with adult themes. Things about life and death and stuff kids just shouldn't be thinking about because they should be doing kid things. But if you're watching something with your child and something comes up that you're not okay with, please don't overreact and just turn it off. Your kids will remember that that's your reaction to it, wonder what the big deal is, and find it on their own. The best thing to do is tell them why you're not okay with it, then they'll better understand what the boundaries are and maybe other bit on anything they find in the future, even if you're not there. If you're about to watch a show that you haven't seen before, check the ratings and reviews first and make sure you're okay with the content. I was once babysitting, and their parents left me with me the fuckers. You never seen Meet the Fuckers. There's a lot of things in there that should not be used by people who are young to understand hormones. That's really the most polite way of putting that. It's not okay. So instead I put in Treasure Planet, but by then I started going crazy. I was never allowed to babysit ever again, and it wasn't my fault.